Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to look at how we can extend password expiry dates for a user within Windows Server 2016. This becomes very important if you happen to have a policy which makes passwords to expire after a certain period of time, and you have users who are not able to connect your domain and need to have their passwords extended. So in this particular video, I'm just going to do a short demonstration of how you can go about that. Um, I'm currently using Windows Server 2016, so that becomes easy. Let's get started. All right, to begin with, I first of all need to identify the users that I have. So I'm going to just go into my command mode or command prompt, if you may. And in command prompt, I can simply check for any user and identify when their password is going to expire. So in this case, I'm going to use the net user command and type one of the users that I know does exist in here. Okay, and then try to do a check of when their password expires. So once I have this information, notice that from the information that we have over here, I do have password last set, password expires, and this is what is important for me. So the password is going to expire on the 24th of June. And if my intention is to extend this password for this user and many other users in here, I would simply have to go in and try to do an extension of the group policies that have to do with uh, password expiry dates. So within my Windows Server, I'm just going to search for the run command. Just quickly see. Or just even from here, I'll just go and type um, the group policy, group policy management console. Or just from here, I'm going to search the group policy management console. All right. And once I have that in place, I'm simply going to look for this information. Usually, if you don't have this all expanded, you might get something like this. And over here, you can simply go and click on that forest to locate the domains that you intend to have this uh, extension applied to. So under domains, I can see I have my domain over there. Okay, if I expand that again, I'll be able to see that I have default domain policy. And this is of interest to me. So just click over there. And once I have clicked over here, just quickly see if I edit that. Okay, so if you edit that, you'd actually get this, this portion that brings information such as policies and other policies, you can go and click on that particular down arrow, all right, or side arrow to have uh, that expansion. And under window settings, you simply have to expand that again and look for security settings. Okay, so I'm just going to expand that part again, and then there we have account policies, all right? So this is what I want under security settings. So if I expand it, I also have password policy, and this is what I'm going to click on, and I will have the different policies that are actually applying to this particular domain that I have. Okay, you have enforced password history, which simply allows you to keep track of the different previously used passwords. You have maximum password age, which simply gives you um, how many days uh, a password can actually stay active and after how long will it get to um, be replaced. Then you have minimum password age, minimum password length. This also becomes very important, especially now as people become more and more aware about security and the different breaches that are in existence, that enforcing a very complex password is very good as it also helps in all the measures that you have to put in place in order for you to either remain compliant in your security systems or even just to remain safe by using a more complex password. Okay, password must meet complexity requirements. You can always do all these settings, but my main focus for this particular video is to look at the maximum password age. So if you come over here, notice that we have 42 days and if I intend maybe to push this to uh, 90 days I can simply move this upwards or you can simply uh, select that and type 90 over there okay and once you've done that you can go and click apply and click OK all right so notice that this moves the maximum password age to 90 days and if you go back into a command prompt previously you would notice that we had that period, uh, which was barely a month, okay? This was expiring on the 6th, I mean, on the 24th of June, 2020. But if we try to run the send command again, we're going to see that this is going to be moved further, okay? So initially, just try to see again. Sometimes this may take a little bit of time. Initially, we had uh, 24th of um, 
June. This must be able to go up. I'm going to try that again. This may take between a minute, two or three minutes in order for it to simply update. All right, after around three minutes of waiting, this now would be the right format to just test that again. Okay, net user, I have Andrew A domain. All right, there we go. Now, this expiry date has actually been moved from June to the 11th of August, 2020. And this is how you'd simply go about and solve all those challenges that may relate to uh, users' um, expiry dates being shifted from what the expiry date was initially supposed to be into something in the future. I hope this has been informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.